This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news. With Judy Sue, Jose Sanders, weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler, and Roz Verence Traffic. This is ABC 7 News This Morning. Welcome back, everybody. The Burkow family has been serving Chicago its hearty food and famous beer since 1898. And now you can serve some of its legendary recipes at your own table. Carlin Burghoff, a fourth-generation restaurateur, and her mother have written the new Burghoff family cookbook. And we welcome Carlin here this morning to share some of the recipes in this famous book. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. And it's a beautiful book. Lots of pictures in there and stories. Th that was my favorite part was pulling together the story and everybody has a family story to tell and it was really fun to write our story and see it on paper and it was a need to be combining all these family recipes for generations yes. into th this one book definitely like my one of my kids first solid meals was this cream spinach uh -huh. at the restaurant you know it's so it has a lot of a lot of meaning to us. Which we're going to make this morning and show right. everybody the secret recipe that you can do at home. So what, how do we get started? Well, first I want you to know that this recipe has never been published. Uh -huh. Lots of people... Very first time. Very first time, right here. Lots of people have tried to um, figure it out and have tried to make it with um, just buying some spinach at the mm -hmm. restaurant. We're going to start with um, milk and half and half. Okay, that's what you just put in right. here. Now, there's a lot of... Um, we're going to use what we call a dried chicken base. Mm -hmm. Cream spinach can be really, really loose, too, more soupy. So the reason I go to a um, powder is to eliminate some of the liquid. Also, the type of spinach that you use has a big bearing on it. There's nothing wrong with using frozen spinach mm -hmm. because it has already been mostly squeezed. You've got to just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so yep. you like actually using frozen spinach. Oh, my okay. gosh. Plus, the time saver of this recipe mm -hmm. is very quick, 15, 20 minutes. So we start with our milk mm -hmm. and our cream, and then we're going to add our chicken base powder. Okay. And I, I really, if, you, if you're a vegetarian, you could certainly substitute it out. And then we use um, just dried garlic. Not, dried garlic. Yes, because um, it's very condensed in flavor. It also doesn't have any pieces. Mm -hmm. And then we season one of the uh, most important seasonings in this is the nutmeg and the oh, amount of okay. nutmeg. The, the flavor of the nutmeg is the most prevalent. I also like to finish it on the top with nutmeg and their celery salt. Okay. Now the thickening agent for this cream spinach is a roux. And a roux is flour and butter and that's over here and that's over here and this is um this is the color and this is how you thicken up your cream spinach now the most important part about the flour is using it and cooking it out for so at least seven to, to ten cook. minutes otherwise your cream spinach is going to taste so that's just flour and butter in there yes okay and cook it's it for just seven been cooking. to ten minutes okay right and if you don't cook it out your cream spinach is going to taste like <laughs> flour. Flour, which right. we don't want. So spinach right. goes in there. So, so this is just frozen, okay. squeezed spinach. And then does the roux then just go and in that And then I'll that thicken pan? it up with this. Oh, yes. so and I'm, this is what it looks like? And that's what it looks like, all finished. Look and at that. Okay. And here's a, a sample for you. I can't wait you. to taste it. The famous cream spinach. And talk about some of the stuff up front that you have, You Carla. know, I think it's really um, good to try to use recipes in different ways. Stuffing an omelet, uh -huh. putting them in mushrooms, um, a chicken breast. So you've made one dish and you have three different uses out of your leftovers. And then we're going to come back after the break and talk about the famous Burghoff beer, which I, everything got started with, that's right? exactly right. All right, Carlin, right. stay right here. We'll be right Thank back. Thank you. All right, Dan, thank you. And we want to thank Carlin Burghoff for being with us here this thank morning you. for some wonderful cream spinach. And we want to tell you that you guys will be hosting the Oktoberfest, right? Coming up at the Federal Plaza on September 12th through the 14th. You can get more information on our website at abc7chicago.com. And I do want to talk about the famous Burghoff beer because you all will be serving that at Oktoberfest, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Oktoberfest beer and then the regular... Um, um, amber beer will be served, and mm -hmm. that's how my great-grandfather got his start in Chicago at the World's Fair in 1898 with 1898. a beer and a sandwich. And the oh. rest, as they say, is history. That's history. Yeah, wonderful cookbook. You can find more information about that as well on our website at abc7chicago.com. Try the cream I spinach. I got the spinach here. It is good. You better stir that. That's boiling. Okay. Okay. It's it's boiling. Really boiling. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Good morning, America. is coming up next. Bye-bye. That is good. Take care. Isn't it good? ABC7 is 24-7, online all the time at abc7chicago.com.